In this video tutorial, I will show you how to convert a CSV Excel sheet file into KMZ or KML file within the Google app. So, uh, I have uh, this data uh, in Excel sheet format. So, a serial number, latitude and longitude. Uh, amount of dip and dip direction. The amount of dip and dip direction is structural data about bedding. So I have created this data for this tutorial. Uh, I will uh, save this data in KMZ uh, uh, in the uh, CSV format R file. Go to file, save as, browse. Now I will um, I have also uh, already saved this data, structural data, but you can change the save as type type from here. So you you uh, uh, save your data as CSV, comma delimited dot CSV format. Okay, or you can also uh, save this data as Excel uh, Excel ninety seven dash two two thousand three Aiden. You can also save this data in this format as well, but um, the most recommended is CSV comma delimited this one. So save this file in this format. All right. So, so I uh, I have already saved this data, so I don't need to save it again. So now let me uh, go to the targeted folder where I have saved my data. So this is the uh, structural data CSV format. So I will drag it. I will drag it and and drop down in uh, the Google app. Okay. So here you can see uh, specify the delimiter. The delimiter means if you have space in uh, the uh, the data or tab or comma and or any other uh, format of uh, for uh, a delimiter, you can also put that other delimiter as well, and you can specify that one there here. So uh, for this, I will uh, uh, keep it by default the delimited, okay, and I will um, click the next, okay. So this is very important. Uh, you can see here in the uh, Excel uh, sheet uh, that uh, I have a multiple uh, multiple uh, columns, fields. You know the serial number, latitude, longitude, the amount of dip and dip direction. But I uh, f uh, to uh, convert my Excel Excel sheet uh, into Excel or KMZ. I will need these two columns. Uh, the, uh, these two fields uh, latitude and longitude so you will have to select here the latitude and longitude okay so in the latitude field you will you will have to select latitude and the longitude uh, the long field okay and press next and once again press next finish and I will uh, I will uh, for now I will um, uh, it, it says do you want to apply a style template to the feature you ingested it means uh, that uh, if you want to show your data uh, on, on the basis of your field that are available within your data so you can do it but for now I will just um, click no and I will show you the data and and then uh, uh, and, and after this I will show you how you can create your template and you can sh uh, sh uh, visualize your data based on the field that are available within your data for now I will, sh I will i will press no okay all right so it will okay so my data is uh, here so i will check it okay this is my data all right now i will expand it from here from here so this is uh, these are the locations these are, this is the data which is available here so uh, uh, let me click over here one on the point serial number the serial number is available here latitude longitude and amount of dip and dip direction 
all right uh, but here I cannot see any uh, uh, um, name here no name so we can put here uh, the serial number as well the late the long or dip direction or whatever uh, you want to put here uh, it's depend on your data that um, uh, how you have organized your data so you can also change the uh, the symbol the icon colors as well as the style so right click on the structural data um, go to properties and now go to colors uh, for this you have to you go to the um, style template and from here you can select the style as well okay and also you can change the color uh, as well as the label icon and the color of the text as well so for now I will I'll select OK for this. OK. Now let me delete, uh, uncheck this. OK. And I will once again uh, drag this data and will create, I will create a template so we will see the difference here. So this is the uh, delimit. Next. Late long. It's OK. It's all right finish so I will create now a template for this Cre okay create a new template use existing template I will create a new template for this okay so for a new template you can select a name field that will show here here so I will uh, select a serial number so I want to select a serial number that one I want to show um, uh, my data based on this serial number okay i i can also use a uh, different color for this icon i can also select icon which icon i uh, specific icon i want i can select from here and also you can also uh, uh, you know uh, select a height field for the for this so for, for now i will i will consider the amount of dip is a uh, uh, height field for now but it's actually not a height but i will consider it is a height okay so set as a, a height from field which field uh, i will amount, uh, select amount of dip for the field okay so this is the maximum the minimum and now i will uh, click okay all right and now let me uh, select this uh, save this template here okay save it and now click it so you can see that you can visualize your data you can visualize your data here like it also being labeled as well as you can see the height of the symbol as well and I'll and so you can also change the uh, uh, just see the the field so it's been arranged based on a serial number as well you can also you can select uh, your uh, required field here and now i want to change the uh, style so it's not allowed for this you cannot change share style yeah you can now change it so what will you, you have to do cancel it you have to share the style it will appear here the sh sh uh, style or uh, and then you can uh, select a, a symbol here so let me select this one and click ok ok now it's been done so this is how you can uh, visualize our uh, and convert your um, excel sheet into kmz now let me uh, save this uh, fee, uh, data in the uh, kml or kmz format so right click on it save to my places no i don't want to save my places save place is save to my place will uh, you save your data into my places like which is here uh, and save place is save place is will save your data here like kmz structural so, so you can also select uh, kmz or kml format both you, uh, uh, you can switch it you can select which one you want 
so make it save it and now let me go to the so it's been saved and now you can also convert the structured data into shape file or any other file you can also you can easily convert it uh, in the gis as well as in the global mapper uh, which we will cover in the next uh, upcoming tutorials